I've owned two CVs since I was about 17 and I always wanted a Citroen with hydropneumatic suspension. This is a Citroen GS. Uh, the model came out in 1970. This model came about because Citroen had um, the small 2CV and it had the large DS. So it had a cheap car and an expensive car and really not very much in between. Um, the GS filled this gap in the middle which was a small family car um, and a mid-priced car and it was to give a sophisticated driving experience but not at high cost. So when this car came out in 1970, it was something of a revelation because some of these luxury car features had never been found uh, at this market level. All-round disc brakes, hydropneumatic suspension taken from the DS, um, and a beautiful engine uh, which was actually designed for this car. It got a brand new overhead cam flat four air-cooled engine, which is actually, I believe, one of the last air-cooled engines designed for a motor car. It was inspired by the 2CV engine, which is, of course, a flat twin, and essentially this engine is just twice the size, four cylinders and twice the uh, capacity two, and the engine, even when it's revving, quite hard, it doesn't become noisy, it's wonderfully smooth. The best feature of this car is its suspension. Um, it's the hydropneumatic system that Citroen developed for the DS in a slightly simplified form, but it gives an absolutely beautiful ride. All around independent suspension, it's adjustable height, so there's a normal ride height for everyday driving, and then there's the second height, which is for going over rough ground, gives you a bit more ground clearance. And then there is the service position, which is for changing a wheel, so you can raise it all the way to the top and then just put the jack under, lower it back down again, and the wheels just come right off the ground, you can change them. So the driving characteristics of this car, when you're going over rough roads, the car is unbelievably smooth. It's almost as though the rough road is not there. You hear it more than you feel it. And then yet when you're on smooth road going fast, it, the suspension is so beautifully firm. And that's something that no car with regular suspension can achieve. The hydropneumatic suspension actually achieves both. It's quite amazing. It also drives really nicely on the highway. It cruises at 100, 110 quite comfortably and you can cover a lot of miles in this car. This car is equipped with the Citroen C-Matic semi-automatic transmission. Uh, it's a rare car for that. Not very many C-Matic GSs survive. There is no clutch pedal. The car is equipped with a torque converter but there is still a floor-mounted gear change uh, as in a regular manual transmission. Because it's got a torque converter, it's a very flexible gearbox, so you can set off in a higher gear quite easily. For me, it's the best of both worlds because I love changing gear, but it's very, very easy to drive in stop-start traffic. My car is a 1978 model. Um, it's in Palace Luxury Spec. This car suits me very well because it's not a Concours classic. It's in good shape, it's got nice smart shiny paintwork, but it's certainly a car to be used. I don't have to be too afraid of, of driving it, so therefore I go all over in it. What I love about this car is the way it looks. Could you imagine seeing this for the first time in 1970? It's so streamlined and aerodynamic. Nothing else on the road looked like it at the time. I think one of the reasons this car doesn't have quite the reputation of some of Citroen's earlier cars like the 2CV and DS is that it doesn't look quite as unique as those models do today but yet in 1970 this car was so modern it was so streamlined in shape nobody would seen anything like it and by the 80s this kind of shape uh, had become adopted by many car manufacturers and if you park it next to a Toyota Prius today 
They do seem to be a little bit related to each other in shape. I came to own this car because I'm a member of Citroen V or Citroen Auto Club of Canada. That's the best way to find your way into Citroen ownership is to join the club. The members will help you find a car for sale and help you find something really good.